is a big part of the tech world, right? That's why we see such a prominent drive for automation and streamlining things. And why Venify is so valuable to get away from the username and password convention that's archaic and get into the concept of machine identity protection as well. For me, most of the work I do is an admin, right? Not end user work. How do I connect to my resources? If I have a Linux box, I need an SSH key. If I'm doing certificate authentication, I need something to represent my admin credentials against the service I'm connecting to, right? Yeah. So how you manage those encryption and subsequent identity assets is really critical. But a customer accidentally had deleted several hundred thousand uh, SSH keys from our inventory uh, by accidentally removing the devices associated with them because human error happens. If you have admins, they have admin access and they have the ability to make mistakes. More often than not, what I find is that people didn't know what they were doing with their, their encryption assets, meaning if you have a DevOps team that is generating SSH keys to connect to a server that they're managing, and then they hand it off to another department, there's typically not a defined policy and procedure for that admin to go and remove their SSH key from the authorized keys file. So over time, it's kind of like if you are collecting mail for someone and they they put a piece of mail on their desk over time and you never throw away any of that mail and all of a sudden you have a, a piece of mail that lets people trust you on your desk from everyone in your organization and not all of those people are there anymore, you don't have any way to check that, right? So what Benefy does is it gives you number one, visibility into what you're doing with these things and then two, it gives you a, a tool to remediate what you need to do with all of them. So how do I remove SSH keys from my systems? Well, Venify can do that for you by means of removing the SSH key from both the user directory and the authorized keys file.